We're at Sheffield for round eight of the National Points Championship shootout stage. It is sponsored by GT Robson. Uh, in terms of our driver spotlight today, we're going to be focusing on 217 Lee Fairhurst. Up first is the all important shootout draw. Theo and Oscar, who are going to do the all important shootout draw. Right, guys, are you ready? Yeah. Go for it. 191 Joshua Smith. Ooh, good work. Thanks, thank you. 259 Paul Hines. You got your bribing yet, Tom? Got your bribing. 16 Matt Newson. Love it. Love it. Five Charlie Swarder. Oh, good like. Forty-seven Simon Trav. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Everybody struggles with your surname, don't they? Come on, is that? No, inside. Eighty-four Tom Harris. Two one seven Lee Ferris. Thank you. Two one two Danny Wayman. Frankie five 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 Frankie Wayman Junior Junior. Five one five Frankie Wayman Junior. Have you got one more? Should I have one more? Two more. Two more. Twenty Liam. Gilbank. Are you an Aya? I have two more. And 211 Phoebe Wayman. Best on last week. Brilliant. Thank you so much, guys. So our driver spotlight at Sheffield this week is 217 Lee Fairhurst. Afternoon, mate. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. So, shootout. Yeah. You are round eight, second in the points behind Tom, 49 points behind him. Yeah. You're kind of got under the radar at the minute. And you just kind of sat to our second, third place. Yeah, I won't seem to say that, but just just trying to do what I do at yeah. each meeting and just considering we weren't even going to do it, to be honest. And, yeah. and then, because um, we had a short season with the engine uh, not coming back at the beginning yeah. of the year, so. I uh, wasn't expecting to get in it and then I got in it towards the back and then um, obviously starting out with the starting points I was 40 or 50 points behind then so I think that first Kings Lynn I was top point scorer so that kind of teed me up to, to carry on with it really. I, weren't, I weren't prepared to carry on with it but because we had a good meeting we just rolled with it. You said the uh, late start of the season, we obviously came to your workshop because you, you know, with your car, uh, refurb car debut, uh, it was May, wasn't it, May, Mayish time, with, I can't remember when we... I can't remember, May or June, so yeah, yeah, something it's like, like that, yeah. It's pretty late and obviously that's why I said I weren't expecting to, yeah. to get enough points to get it, but we uh, debuted it and uh, won the final first meeting out, yeah. so that shot us up there, so yeah. In terms of the shootout, like you said, Kings Lynn, and now I remember us having a conversation with Kings Lynn going, put it up late, you know, that's a cracking meeting in terms of, you know, this is, yeah. and then... The last two meetings have not been great, have they? It's like the last Kings Lane at Bradford, it seems kind of like it's bad luck, is it? Yeah, a bit of bad luck and damage. A um, bit of damage we've carried through the through the races towards the end, but um, you're going to get that in the shoe, aren't yeah. you? You're going to get that, but it's just just what you've got. You always kind of look back at, at meetings in the shoe, where you thought, I could have done that, could have done that, and I should have should have done something to the car a bit better and made it you know, go better. Yeah. But, you're gonna get beaten like that, aren't you? So you just gotta, like, like I say, roll with it and just do the best you can every time you go out. So I've spoken to Phoebe, uh, Simon, who were in the shootout for the first time this year. This is yeah. not your first rodeo, if you like. You know, you've been in the shootout. <laughs> you've been in the shootout a number of times. Do you approach each year the same, or do you kind of get right? I need to learn from that and do this differently, or is it? Uh, not really. I approach it the same. Obviously, car uh, prep and um, car prep is important, and I'm getting the reliability that you need to to finish the races, even if you're not up there in the, the finishing position you need to be still be finishing the races so yeah. that's more important than a, a run of the mill meeting if you like to, like to say but um, and obviously I just go out and try and try and win really and yeah. try and do the best I can and try and get as far forward as we can and it's only like now the back end of the shootout where you start thinking about oh, 
to settle for that because he's in, yeah. on the infield, for example, you yeah. know, you know, not taking any, any major chances. Could be more tactical, doesn't it, I suppose? Yeah, a bit, a bit more, yeah, but obviously we're just, I don't know. Matt had a view, Matt Newsom, we did him last week, he had a view that kind of going into Sheffield, it is going to be you, uh, Tom, Frank, or himself that, that are going to win it, so it's down to almost you four now. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Obviously, uh, we've done what we can do up to now and we've, we've put ourselves in, in a position to to try and win it in the last few meetings, so what, what will be will be and we'll just do our best. I said you kind of uh, gone a bit under the radar, so Tom and Frank obviously had a bit of a bit of involvement at Bradford because you know Tom Tom's kind of leading, Frank's like I want to win this final, do you think you're going to come under the same level of scrutiny? Possibly yeah, um, you just don't know until you get out, you don't know what other people's mindsets are and what their agendas are, but obviously yeah. You know, people come up to me and tell me what I need to do, and they've never even sat in a sock yeah, kind of life. Yeah. So it's like, you know, what, what, what do you listen to? I tend not to listen to anyone. Really. I just yeah. focus on. Uh, no, I just um, just try and focus on myself and do what's best for me rather than what's yeah. best for other people. Yeah. Um, so we're going to come and talk to you after every race. Um, by your own admission, Sheffield isn't your most favourite. Definitely not. No. Um, yeah, especially on a day like this where it's due a bit of rain, it's been raining, but Mini 2, so hopefully track's a bit better from 1 and yeah. Heat 1 and uh, F2s are here, so yeah, we'll see what gets out. Do you want a pair of overalls so we can, if we do get damage, you can I could, jump on the we, car? We could, or, what, while we're talking? Yeah, yeah. We'll, I, we'll, I don't know what you want me to do. like you asking me questions, <laughs> you can just be changing a wheel and stuff. I could do that, right. but you've got all, your dad's like very kind of, oh yeah, yeah, I, I don't, your dad a bit hot on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. step to one side yeah. and then just, just observe. Yeah, just observe. Best fit. I might join you. Yeah. <laughs> um, good luck for today. Like I say, we'll come talk to you, talk to you after heat two, yeah. and hopefully the track's a bit bit drier then, which yeah. makes it for better. Yeah, reasons, hopefully. Yeah. Okay.
I do. I have them today, but I do, yeah. Yeah, there's a big tile. No. Any beer oil? No, no. None of the, I think special beard oil is alright. Do you want to come out of the shower? It's like out here, do you know what I mean? So I have to like team it. Oh, it's like that, It's got That's what's up in here, there's a straight bit more. Yeah, exactly. It's funny, it's a funny, it's funny stuff. It's funny stuff. So we got second in the first heat, and uh, which is brilliant. Um, it looked a very treacherous racetrack. Yeah, you had to be uh, very careful because yes. obviously when you once you get the back outside off the line, it's just like you're just a passenger basically. So made a few mistakes, but just managed to keep in a straight line and get second. Yeah. We were talking obviously before your first heat, and we're going. It's not it'll dry out. I don't know where the rain came from. I mean, we are weather people. Yeah. However, that was a very heavy downpour. Just kept coming, didn't it? Yeah. Obviously, when it's like that, you just. Your goggles are important, most, yeah. probably the most important thing, obviously, to finger it over. I made sure they was all right, and then uh, the final looks like it's going to be dry and then a bit wet offline, so yeah. tricky, tricky conditions, really. We'll come, back to, we'll come to the final in a minute. In terms of in terms of the heat, you were running second, uh, and then it looked like potentially you could get Danny, but was it just a bit like, actually, I don't want to risk it, because it's... Yeah, well, I could, could have got onto him, but then I think when I've uh, been on the kerb a few times, uh, the left rear rally tyre has been okay. rolled off the rim a little bit. Right. That's had a flat left rear the last few laps, and I was like, I could feel myself getting there, and then it just kind of went off a bit, and yeah. I thought something, something didn't yeah. feel right. So, obviously, that was the cause, and uh, now we're just going to put the tyres on, which we, we thought we were, we were going to run yeah. in the heat for the dry now and see how it goes. There's been a lot of work going on between you know heat and consolation. Like the radiator out, you know, what was that just because it was. It just got too hot, obviously, the volume of shale. Yeah. It, just, it just all clogged up, and you know, it's like it's just horrible. It like, yeah. sets like cement because the radiator's hot, yeah. wet shale goes on it, it just sets hard. So, it just it's quicker and easier just to get a, get the spare running. Rather than just cleaning it all off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, probably, you probably get away with it. If you short the time, you could probably just flush it out a bit and get as much as you could out, but we just, we've just we got a fresh one there. We're not yeah. in the Conti, so a few races in between, we'll get a spare one in. He said about the final, because I just watched the Constellation there, and it is, you've got a very fast racing line and a very treacherous outside line. Yeah, probably easy to go into hard and put yourself in yeah. it, so that'll be uh, something easy to be cautious of, and obviously people will be trying to put us into that, and yeah. obviously once you, once you get offline, you're going to be losing a quarter of a lap, half a lap, maybe even more, so obviously we just need to stay on the inside. And so where do you grid up for the final, do you know, is it? Are you inside? I'm not sure, to be honest, because um, I don't think Frank's going out, so no. I'm not sure where we'll end up, so. In terms of the shootout, um, sort of points so far, I guess yeah, Frank's, Frank's done for the day, you know, with, with sort of engine damage, I think, and then you know, Tom's won the contest, <coughs> so it is very much still that level playing field. You're all there, all thereabouts. Nobody's kind of had a heat win. And Pretty much, yeah. The finals are like double points compared to the heat, so yeah. you get a, a place different in the heat. Uh, it's not much difference in points, but the finals is like double points overall, so you you know, you're four, six points yeah. sometimes in between each position, I think, so. Yeah, it's important to get a yeah. good place in the final and to try and outscore who we're around. Yeah. When I was talking to Matt, he was saying, you know, one of you four needs to have a, a bad meeting, you know, because so, scoring consistently, you're always going to stay the same, aren't you? Yeah, obviously Frank's not scoring today now, so, but obviously, double points the last yeah. round, and if you win the final, it's quadruple, so literally, you know, anything can happen, so. Who knows, who knows. And I think for the sport it is great that you all gonna you know potentially four of you are gonna go into that last meeting yep. with a chance of winning silver if it makes it a, yeah, a great yeah. spectacle. Definitely, yeah, we'll all battle it out and obviously whoever comes out on top on the day wins the silver. Yes. If we don't, we all go home. That's it, and that's it. Have Christmas. Nothing so, changes. Yeah. That's it. Life doesn't change. It does, life doesn't change. It doesn't, it doesn't, life doesn't really change. It doesn't it's just change. the same uh, same old thing, but yeah, we wanna win it, so we'll try our best. Perfect. Right, I'll uh, come and touch you after the final. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Hopefully less work. Less work, <laughs> yeah, yeah.
Uh, Lee, you've just been on, uh, come off from the final. Disappointing, I guess, because it was going well and inside rear just, flat. Just pure bad luck for no reason at all. Just, just got a flat uh, rally tie on the left rear, so yeah, just spun it off the rim. Yeah, I could feel it going and going and going. Yeah. The whistle got on. Uh, I don't know if I got a place. So I could kept on turning around. But. Yeah, you got eleventh. Is that like? A, I don't know if that's a point in the final. Is it? it was a couple of points. Next to nothing. Yeah. <laughs> not, not worth worrying about. But obviously, yeah, we just just pure bad luck. That yeah. really just. Uh, I don't think I'd have, I'd have got in top three or anything like that. But uh, you never know. We're going. It's, it's coming you, better and better. You got you got that group of Tom, uh, Danny, Matt, and Charlie, and they were kind of there. And you were sort of the, the next little group behind. With yeah, the start were terrible because I was on the grid on the outside. And I went to set off and it just I just. Literally yeah, headed towards the fence, so I had to back right off to get out of the sloppiness and then get on the inside. Then by the time I was inside, I was dead last. So, uh, not it's ideal. No, uh, but those because the thing is, you're saying that you're almost at a stop, and those guys are at full racing speed, aren't they? Yeah, so yeah. To make that up when you're all similar, speed yeah. Like anyway. I say, when, once we got going and going round, I think for 10 laps, I was as quick as them, really. Yeah. But I was just that far back, uh, couldn't make any ground. Yeah. Up. It's one of them sort of tracks as well, and it's roundy, roundy. Yeah. You get a single fire, it's hard to get on anyone, really. Yeah, and especially today because if you are on the outside you're just going in the fence aren't you which That's is just, it, yeah. which we saw in that race so, yeah. is it just for the final uh, Grand National sorry is it just it's not even Grand National anymore it's Helter Skelter what even is that word yeah. we're on the Helter Skelter we've got a different set of back tyres on uh, lads are just giving the ride a bit more of a clean and yeah. car wash over and just general checking stuff really and Fingers crossed, no more yeah. car problems and we get a good result. Yeah, and it's getting dark now. We've been here a long time today. It seems <laughs> happy, it? Just it seems doesn't like it? I got here this morning. But <laughs> I'm only half an hour from here, so I'm not too bad. Happy days. Happy days. A bit longer for you. Yeah. Good luck for the, uh, for the health scouter, and we'll come to talk to you at the end of the meeting. Stay again. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, Cheers mate.
So we finished finally. Yeah. Um, Grand National, we got third. Yeah. Third. Uh, bit better result. Yeah. Uh, Tom won it though, so obviously not gaining anything. No. Um, but yeah. Bit of a better race. Car was doing good. Yeah. Car stayed up. Which is always good. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, a win. Uh, a win. Yeah. And yeah. um, you were second at one point, and then you got Craig and Matt, hadn't you? Who were very kind of like you kind of racing into the three of you. And once you got put yeah. out, it was hard to get. Because I think it was going into turn four, so you end that sloppy outside. Yeah. We've talked I think about I all day. Got stuck on the outside. I tried to tuck back in, and they yeah. both there. So obviously t- tucked in behind them, and uh, I thought I had to cross the line with Matt side by side. But then as I crossed the line. I backed off a little bit. I don't know if you thought the same or not. But he backed off yeah. as well. Yeah, well, yeah. And then coming again, there's another one to go, and I thought, oh, oh he's winning. Hopefully, Matt was away from me. But yeah. yeah. What happened with the car? Yeah, the car was going good. Um, got it somewhere near last race. The car's always really good at Bradford, so I'll be looking forward to that yeah. and uh, try and see what we can do. And we talk about like you know the shootout is week after week, and there's quite a lot of damage today, isn't there? You know, we can look around. There's a lot. Of, I know, I know. Happy but good for you though. People get a leak and he fixed my car. However, yeah. but you know it's tarmac and then you're back to Bradford, so you've not got huge amounts to do, I guess, with the shell car. It's just a bit of TRC, I suppose. And yeah, hopefully we're not got too much damage yeah. on it. Uh, we'll wash it off. We'll have a good look around it and check things again. And uh, say time next week. Um, Thoughts on Hendersford? Uh, we didn't go there that often, do we? It's, it's, yeah. Probably the best Endersford was that British rock where I did Newton on the yes. last corner for the win, but where Tom sneaked through. Um, she never thanked me for that. Has he never thanked me for that? No. I think you're the one. Um, but yeah, just um, one of them things, and that's the best, probably the best cars I've ever had. Yeah. Um, went to the last Endersford last time last year there, and I bent all the chassis on the back end. I had to cut, cut the back end off the car and repair it, so it's been fresh for this year. Yeah, so fingers crossed we don't do that this time. I think Jacqueline weren't very happy with me that one, because I said, oh yeah, you do Garland night in my car. Uh, and Henderson went out, totaled the chassis, <laughs> and then the chassis, sorry, you can't, you can't do Garland night. <laughs> Luckily, a good wind letter for it. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, you can Pink do that in my car. Yeah, you? is that the plan, though? Is that yeah, the plan? yeah. Good. Looking forward to that. Yeah, good. Good to get her out again. Yeah. Lee, thanks so much for your time today. I know it's just kind of swift turnaround and um, you know, Sheffield and anything can happen, so All thank you for your time. Never a chore. Thank you very much. See you later. Thank you. Thanks, sir.